Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new, thank you. If you're returning, thank you as well. You guys, go subscribe to my YouTube channel for starters. <laughs> I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers so I can go live there. Help me reach my goals, go support. And hit the notification bell, go watch some videos there. Go follow me on Instagram as well. I do go live there. <sighs> Go um, <laughs> go check out my website, divinevibe.org. Go book a reading. I have a special right now, a full reading for $25, a mini reading for $15 if you're interested. And my package. <laughs> um, let me see. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> Other than that, this is a live reading. It's general. Alright, I'm an intuitive reader, so I get a few messages at a time sometimes. So this message may or may not resonate with you. Alright, if not, go check out the other videos or go catch me on my other lives. Or go check out your sign on my YouTube. I've been uploading them and more is yet to come, so go check that out. Rather than that, you guys, if it does not fit for your story, don't make it fit. It's not going to fit for everybody. All right. But overall, let's go ahead. Let's start. And if it resonates, like, share, comment. Definitely share the message, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. I kept seeing the high priestess earlier when I was shuffling the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys can be very intuitive. Mother for some of you guys. In a commitment. Or just very intuitive. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Look, I see that at the bottom. Okay. Let's get one card for the overall energy and then we'll get pass or recent pass. How you're doing in the current energies moving forward and then a possible outcome and then we will clarify then we'll pull the rest of the cards let's get one card hello boo <laughs> okay just for stars i'm not going to take them it's too many this is not going to resonate with everybody so we have taurus virgo capricorn pisces cancer scorpio gemini libra aquarius Aries, Leo, Sag. So some of you guys, some of you guys could be single right now or in a relationship. Some of you guys could have been heartbroken from a relationship and now you're single. Others of you guys, you're in a relationship but you're you're still feeling abundant within this relationship. Within this relationship, you're still you. St I feel like you still have your identity. <laughs> some of you guys, it could have if you are single now. There probably was an equal give and take. If you're in a relationship, then there is equal give and take. So take that how it res resonates with you, okay? Let's get one card, spirit. One card for the collective. <laughs> okay, that's too many. <laughs> Y'all don't have to forgive me. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, Toys, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you guys, you were probably feeling stuck at a time, but you freed yourself. You moved forward. You're, some of you guys, you just want your money. You want your stability and growth. You, some of you guys, you're manifesting too. Let me give these one more shuffle. All right, let's get one more. Let's get one card. Just one card. Dang it. I'm not okay. I just gotta go with it. Come on, let's get a white card. Okay, Dang, thank you. Make me work for these cards, y'all. Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Toys, Virgo, Capricorn, Nine, Ten. You guys are taking steps. <laughs> Look at that lover. Some of you guys re have a lover. Either you have, I feel like it could be either or because they keep coming up together. Okay, but you're all about honesty and truth. <laughs> Um, Ten of Wands, letting go of burdens, letting go of the past. This is about moving forward. Healing as well. Things that might have hurt you or put you in a, a state to where you feel like 
you couldn't be your true self for some of you guys. And however that means, it's just like, people, if they do anything to hurt you, it can make you defensive, right? It can make you put up your guards, and it, it can change your perspective on that person and, and on and your outlook on the world, right? So it's about letting that go. And some of you guys, because I keep seeing the lovers, you can you even there could be um, burdens between you and a lover, or you you guys are releasing that together, either or. But I gotta clarify. But you're completing the cycle, and you're done with pain. You're 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 moving forward into a new journey. Some of you guys could actually be moving to um, to a house. But this that's carrying a lot, okay? Like have, feeling like the the world is on your shoulders. You don't want that. <laughs> you don't. And I feel like you're releasing that. You're walking away. Some of you guys, yeah, you're completing a cycle. Let's go ahead. Let's get a pass, a recent pass. I came out. Okay. Why did it keep dropping them? <sighs> Sorry. Okay, Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So there could have been some options. Maybe you had options. They go the High Priestess. Somebody is very um intuitive. But, okay, this is about having options, okay? You or this person had options. I kind of feel like you have options as well. And when you have options, of course, you have to make a decision. Some of you guys, this is about, could be about your finances, your stability, um, your growth, your material, material world. <laughs> but there's something that you know. Some of you guys could be very um, silent or not really... I guess they will call you an introvert for some of you guys. If you ever felt like that. But really, I mean, you're an introvert when you're around when you're around people <laughs> who you don't really relate to. So, but yeah, you're very intelligent. You're very centered, very grounded, very balanced. Again, you see through people, um, through situations. You know where you need to be. All right, and um, yeah, so you guys could be fire sign, water sign, or earth sign. <clears throat> Some of you guys, oh, there's some type of success here, but we'll wait. Thank you. Let's get a card for the present. Look at that, I knew it. Okay, mm. <laughs> not gonna resonate with everybody. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Somebody had to make a decision you know, to walk away, probably from somebody who was sneaky or cheating or lying. Yeah, you walked away. Letting go of those pains, those burdens, the past. I love it okay wow and then you have the will of fortune destiny i'm pisces too okay pisces gang okay i love i don't know why but i always attract pisces too so that's the funny part <laughs> okay we got the magician okay manifesting this is your your current energy and where you're heading okay and some of you guys you're feeling like this like you're in your power you got options you got decisions you're moving past um, the past, you're completing cycles, okay? There's also good luck coming into you. 10, 10, destiny, will of fortune. So something good or lucky might happen for you. There's some type of honesty, um, communication, some type of love. No, we don't have to talk about them. Let's go ahead. Let's get an outcome of one of a possible outcome. <clears throat> okay, let's read the message. Because <laughs> it flew out. So you guys could have dealt with the Capricorn, or you could be Aries Leo Sash. Take that how it resonates. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be either or, or those signs. There is some type of... Oh, okay. This is not really bad. Okay. I know this is dealing with the past. It could be dealing with the past person, too. Some of you guys could have... Somebody could be a workaholic. I know that may sound like, what? A workaholic? Yeah. Somebody was either a workaholic or somebody was... And was not given the... Or you were the connection, the time or energy that it needed. Others of you guys, this person... Somebody could have been putting more energy into a relationship. And... Something came falling apart. Somebody was probably taking their time... And some some of you guys you know this situation or you you know some type of truth about whatever this is whether that person knows or not this could be a past lover somebody from your past somebody could have been toxic to you or towards you or in this relationship to where at one point you probably felt bound to it and there was just a lot of pain a lot of emotions that were just not good for you at all okay just not good at all could have been with a lover all right, but this is just um, either somebody, again, it could be drugs, it could be alcohol, it could be like somebody being uh, manipulative or a narcissist, somebody just who didn't heal their inner child, and that can affect a relationship that you have with somebody. But there was no happiness, there was no more growth here. So this person probably wasn't giving their all, they probably weren't doing anything to work on it. Even if you were somewhere in here, there was an imbalance. So somebody probably could have left or somebody ended it. Okay, because somebody just wants loyalty, truth, and honesty, and clarity. So something could have came apart. And also somebody could have been taking their sweet time. Okay, just moving like really, really, really slow. Okay. Um, but you want stability. You want security. You want growth. All right, and then again, here you are. So again, here, I, I how many times do I got to disguise the high priestess? <laughs> but you know, okay, nobody can hide one old, all over on you, okay? So because there could have been other people involved. And then also there could have been somebody from your past, Six of Pentacles. Probably wants to come back around as well. Let's give this a shuffle because that was just too many. Hope you guys are doing good out there. <laughs> and thank you for tuning in. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get a possible outcome. Yeah, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be an uh, air sign or dealing with the air sign, vice versa, or both. Some of you guys could have... Um, this is you. Wow. Okay, wait. Wow, King and Queen of Swords. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, the okay, wow, <laughs> the emperor and the empress. Okay, wow, so you guys could have been so you guys. I gotta say this <clears throat> now. This is not gonna resonate with everybody, so don't sit there and say it. Some somebody could have had somebody else, there could have been like because I keep seeing a couple, and then I keep seeing this queen of wands, like but, but solo. And then the then the keep then the devil pops up and then the hierophant more Taurus that's the the high priestess and the so there could have been a relationship just um, possibly cheating if that resonates with y'all or just going back and forth between people for I don't know but there's something here with a couple here that was toxic whether you were married or you were in a long long spiritual uh, or a long relationship and it was spiritual or magical however you viewed this at one point in time there is some type some type of lovers like or multiple counterparts like I don't know maybe y'all hung out with other couples or something but the king and queen of swords is here the emperor and the empress the Hierophant and the high priestess and the devil so something was toxic but somebody cut it off or cut it out Somebody cut it out. Da, da, da. Okay, you, you want honesty. 
you want communication. Some of you guys have been very, very patient with yourself along your process or along your journey. So some of you guys could have blocked somebody. You could have blocked somebody. You could have cut them off completely. Um, they were just a liar, a manipulator. They're sneaky. They didn't serve you. They couldn't be honest. Some of you guys, you probably could have confronted somebody, and they probably still lied to your face. Like, like I see through you. Some of you guys, you could probably just walk away and didn't do it. Like, you, you found out, you just walked away. It was just like, you know what, whatever. Some of you guys, you already had a feeling or you already knew. And going forward, you're only manifesting the best. And you only want the best. And you not playing with nobody. Look at your face. If they're not coming with you with the truth, thank you. If they're not coming with you with the truth, you're cutting them off. And some of you guys, you will block them in a heartbeat. Like you, you're not playing around because you, you don't want any burdens. You don't want any pain. You don't want anything that's going to stop you from being in your power and manifesting and having the things that you want in this life. It don't matter if it's love. It don't matter if it's in your career. It don't, it don't, it don't matter who it is. It don't matter what it is. Like, mm -mm. okay, let's clarify. Oh, I'm getting cold up in here. Let's see. Yeah, be patient. The temperance keeps coming out, Sagittarius. Look at that Scorpio energy at the bottom. you guys let's see what these cards are about clarify the ten of wands what burdens are we letting go what burdens are we letting go what burdens are we letting go okay so you guys definitely walked away oh I like this you got really beautiful cards though Okay, let's start with this um, Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and it's at the bottom too. So you can be that sign or dealt with that sign. You can have Aquarius in your chart, Gemini or Libra. <laughs> um, so you're letting go of burdens. You're done feeling trapped in your head. You're done feeling like you're stuck or you can't move or maybe there's no options like no, there's plenty of options. Some of you guys may dream or daydream or fantasize a lot. But um, you're done, okay? You're making decisions. You're moving forward. You're manifesting. <laughs> Thank you. You want happiness. Um, Leo energy, you want happiness. You want sunshine. You're moving forward from people who don't treat you this way. You're letting them go. And you got also got... And also, you're healing. Some of you guys, you're healing your inner child. So and that's also putting you in the the magician energy, which is really powerful. So, and it's also a new beginning. So you got the Ace of Pentacles as well, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a new beginning. Some of you guys could be manifesting in your in your money, your career, changing it, finances, or just manifesting more money. However, that resonates. So, whatever it is, you only want the best for you, right? You're letting everything go. And again, this being behind here, I feel like you're done having... I'm not going to say that you don't have money, but you're done have feeling like you don't have money to do whatever you want or to purchase whatever that you need. You want to make sure that you have all the money, all the resources, <laughs> all the abundance in the world, even loyalty, um, loyal people around you who support you and who know who they are too all right you want people who are like in your same energy and most importantly you just want to be happy you want a new beginning you want to just move forward okay and you're letting it go somebody walked away I see it. It keeps coming up. Somebody from your past. Some, yeah. Clarify the Seven of Cups. So, this is about, um, it could be about dreaming, 
having a lot of options. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, yeah. Oh, I love them though. There you go. Look at the magician, right? Zero and one. A new beginning. Take a chance, right? Take a leap of faith. Do it. Like, there's going to be obstacles no matter what, right? But when you, you're you aware, so you're very aware, you're very awake, very intuitive. You got the whole package spiritually, okay? You're everything. So, wow, you got a lot of fire energy too. The passion. Let's kind of read this story. This is going to be a few ways. <clears throat> so for some of you guys, somebody could have had options. Okay. <laughs> okay, they probably could have had options and put you behind and put you as a second option or a third option towards an other people, another lover or family, work, however that may resonate. Either or or all for somebody. It wasn't an equal give and take. Uh especially it wasn't an equal take in this in the love connection, right? If you were in a relationship, it wasn't equal give and take. Point blank period. So you guys could have families, been married or had kids, or just had a really strong connection. Others of you guys, you have options towards your finances, towards love, and some even towards friends. So I feel like you have to align yourself. You're letting go of the past. You're moving forward. You are visualizing the things that you want in your life. You want to be successful. You want to be able to celebrate. You want to be, be able to go out, you know, go, go out and enjoy life. Look at the star right after that. Go out and enjoy life. Enjoying the things that you have manifested. The things that you've been hoping, wishing, and praying for. Being patient for. Trying to be emotionally stable, stable for like you've, you've been doing the do like these are beautiful major arcana cards, okay. So and some of you guys, you may want a family or you want somebody you can settle down with in life. You can grow together, you can build together, and you don't have happiness with right. Maybe that's what all the things you're looking for in the, the recent past. And again, equal give and take. Does not matter in your work, in a relationship. You want things to be equal. And I feel like that's all you deserve. And if somebody wasn't giving that to you, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Let's clarify this magician, because that's past. We don't really care about we don't really care about the past, to be honest, okay? But I still gotta read it. <laughs> so you guys are done. I'm over. You're only accepting the best. Moving forward. And having the strength to do so. Very strong. Clarify the magician. Some of you guys could have kids. Yeah, of course. Aries, Leo, Sag at the bottom. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, some of you guys... Now, some of you guys actually... You, you have options. Literally, um... Either at work or that's coming to you. Either in your business, more ideas and making them practical. Maybe collaborations, um, talking to other people, networking. You're going to have options. You're going to also be s stable financially because the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, very finance, like very stable, grounded, down to earth. Have everything secure and on point, okay? And again, the Seven of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So, building, having options. Some of you guys, you're choosing your money. I see that bag. <laughs> you see that cup with the money in it? <laughs> yeah. You're working. You're also working very hard. So, yeah. Some of you guys, you've been working hard, manifesting, at jobs. Okay, you know, try to manifest a better life, more stability, more growth. I feel like a brand new beginning. I just, I just feel like you want a, a whole change and like a whole new start in life. I feel like you're working really hard to accomplish that and it's coming to you with no hesitation. 
pure happiness, pure joy. And I know, like, this may sound like, oh my god, like, of course, but no, like, it's, it's really paying off. It really is, because you're letting go of whatever burdens, and that's how you're bringing in new energy. So you're releasing old energy, negative energy, and releasing, you're bringing in new energy. Some of you guys could do things over the over social media or the website. You may design or create. Some of you guys, you're a business owner or independent, or you're just very good at what you do. You are also ignoring and letting go of drama, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're fighting that off. <laughs> you're fighting that off, and I feel like you. It's. I feel like you have I feel like you're in control for some reason because the magician is number one. They um, can also be a trickster too. Either way, they usually have the upper hand. All right, and it's you, so you feel like you got the the magic stick, right? But you're fighting off or you're ignoring um, negative energies, people who who bring burdens to your life. Again, people who make you feel stuck, like you can't make a decision, or they make you feel like life is not working i don't know you guys ever be around certain people who just they don't really do nothing with themselves or their life and you hang around them and you see it and it's just like it kind of puts you in that energy too like i don't we're not getting into that energy at all you want to be around people who are productive who are trying to reach places that you are trying to reach or people who are already there that you can look up to right you just want to be successful. And I don't feel like you're giving up. I really don't. You're standing your ground. And if there are people where you work or around you who don't want to see you succeed, I feel like you have your head down. Like, you just don't care. You're you're not really focusing on that. You're, you're releasing that and you're manifesting. Let's clarify the King of Swords. All right, y'all. Uh, if somebody that Capricorn wanted to come out in Libra, somebody if somebody was toxic, they'll get their karma. If anybody was wondering, because some people would be like, I don't really wonder. Like, is this person, especially if you if you're not in contact with people, and they just left, you know, you wonder like, did they really get their karma? Like, you know, did they ever feel anything, or did, they, did were they just really heartless? But no, they do. King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords. Ah! Okay. Okay. That's a lot of people. And Luku came out. So look, I'm not playing, okay? They want to show their face. Look, and the Three of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys could also also be a Capricorn, okay? That could also mean that you're working on your money. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. And this could be somebody from your past. Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So the first one that came out, okay, we'll read these because I got to take them. But at the bottom is beautiful. You got the Ten of Pentacles. So, okay, that's good energy. <sighs> money, stability. Taking care of everybody, okay? Oh, yeah, we got the king up in here, too. Mm, there could be other people around you. Take this how it resonates. I mean, I personally don't have a lot of people around me. So, but, you know, if you do, you know if you do. We got the king of swords. So, take this how it resonates, you guys. You will be able to match who with who. So, we got the king of swords. Coming out first, we had the queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this could be you or your person. Uh, did that how it resonates? It's so many people that I really don't. You know what I'm going to do? You know what? I'm going to read out the signs and I'm going to... That's going to take longer. I'll do it really quick. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Devil card, Capricorn. Could have been third party, y'all. Uh. King of Pentacles or four. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, double Capricorn. And then Sagittarius. Now put yourself in this in this title where you fit, okay? There's plenty of signs for you to pick it out. And if not, then maybe you 
I don't see how you couldn't be in this picture right now. <laughs> Alright, God, we gotta take this up a notch because something happened here. Because somebody's blocked. Some of you guys, maybe you have a lot of friends, family, or again, third party situation. Y'all entanglement. <laughs> August, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's not okay. Let's see, God. Why? Let's see. Why do we have the Queen of Cups? Who is the Queen of Cups? Who is the Queen of Cups? The Queen of Cups could have been somebody you could have been married to, or somebody who was married, or somebody spiritual. But this is the person who has their guard up. This person is defensive. Why do we have the Queen of Swords? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Whoa, my God. Oh, my God. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If this is your story, like, I don't know whose story this is. It's a lot. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And this is Taurus energy, too. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the Queen of Swords. Give me one more card with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Why y'all made me do this? Scorpio. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio. There was an ending. You cut somebody off. Okay. Somebody cut somebody off. You could have cut off a water sign. I don't know. Why is so many people? <laughs> Clarify the devil. I think it's really ass. Could have been a lover. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Clarify the devil card. Why do we have the devil? Somebody had options. But this is about being patient and also having option. Why do we have the King of Pentacles here? Why do we have the King of Pentacles? This is so crazy. I don't even know what's happening in this situation. Like I know I'm reading it, but I can't like this I can't put it. Every little sag at the bottom. I feel like every freaking um sign here right now on the board. King of Pentacles, okay. Two of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sage, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius was um, probably had a decision to make, but it left this person heartbroken, so this person had to walk away. Why is Temperance here? Wow, this is a crazy story. Like, no lie. Temperance, wow, magician. Some of y'all, y'all could have been a Sagittarius or, wow, High Priestess, Taurus. We got the, the I don't even know, the the High Priestess and the, 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 oh my God, the Hierophant, you guys. What's happening here? Some, but whatever it is, whatever burdens are being let, um, that you're letting go of, something's going to work out in your favor. Whose story is this? It's so many people. Probably like either like multiple couples, either married or just dating or relationships, or you're dealing with um, family, friends, co workers, um, partners. Okay, if you were juggling a whole bunch of people. Ugh. If you had a whole bunch of options between all these signs, I don't know. It's so many people right now, you guys. And I'm on live, okay? So, take that out of it. If not, if I, I could clarify more about to be here for, like, another two hours, it looks like. But anyway, the subject, the temperance here is clarified the, by the magician. Again, that's your actually your current energy. Coming back out, clarify the magician and the temperance. Who are we manifesting and being patient with? So you be patient, um, walking away, um, walking away, and some of you guys could be sad or some type of spiritual awakening or freeing yourself. A lot of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, at the bottom, Queen of Cups, the Haynes Man, eight, in, eight of Cups and Four of Cups, and Fire. So somebody walked away. 
somebody decided to go heal themselves or somebody decided to just start manifesting and it's at the bottom so somebody decided to just flip, walk away from this whole situation with all these people of course i don't feel like everybody no not everybody was being honest in this situation let's start there <clears throat> what's the overall outcome for this situation <clears throat> that's a lot Oh my god, what is this situation? It's so many. I'm trying to read all those. Let's get one card. Here you go again. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the King of Swords came back out. Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. That's 11 11. King of Cups. I mean, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Moon card, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, love, success, victory, some good news, some money. What is this situation? A new... <laughs> Overall, come, let's just stick to this. I don't even, y'all. Uh, wow. Somebody, y'all got so many people in your life, it looks like, or too many people in your energy, or in your business. <clears throat> Let me drink some water first, y'all. Yeah. It's a lot. This is why that five of wands came in. Wait. This is why that five of wands came in. And then right after, clarifying the king of swords, what we got to be honest with, what we want truth with. Then all these people come out. All these people. And I feel like you're trying to ignore it or block it by working or making your money or doing something or hobbies or things that you know you're interested in mm. y'all in a situation y'all are in a situation y'all got to start cutting people off and blocking people which i feel like you will or you because that's like outcome so you will that's being honest some of you guys there's some type of love offer coming to you Somebody's coming to you. you, got, the, this is a love, like somebody coming to you, 11-11, they want to be with you, they want to be honest, they want to marry you, they want to have a reunion or a reconciliation, they want to be successful, but somebody wants to come around, wish fulfillment, 11-11, they want to be honest, they want to be blunt, they want to be truthful. So who is bringing this in to you? I do not know. It's so many people. Maybe you have plenty of people bringing you a love offer or wanting to be with you. And you got to make a decision and see who's going to be honest and truthful and loyal to you. I don't know, y'all. Make it fit. But some, and then the crazy part is, is that it's going to be successful. Like whoever is manifesting this is going to be successful. Especially if you've been doing your due. That's crazy situation. I have never in my life. Never. Like, I read one before. We did one before, right? And yeah, I had a few people. But this... This is somebody's story. So, this may be, like, a very, very few people. That's a lot of people, y'all. That's a lot. People are getting hurt. People are walking away. People are blocking other people. People are just like, or maybe there's, maybe everybody, truth is coming out, and because of that, everybody has to make a decision because nothing can can be hidden. Like, it is. I don't. I don't feel like my energy is high. Like reading the situation, I'm like, wow. Like it's just so much. It's so many people, and every sign is on the board and coming out like twice. There was somebody here too. Somebody was toxic. Somebody got hurt. Somebody walked away. Somebody had options. Somebody possibly could have been married or was in like a really spiritual connection with somebody. Because somebody could have been a really spiritual connection. Other people could have just been like a regular relationship. Take it where you fit. If you feel like you have the spiritual connection with your partner, everybody else probably could have just been dating or married or just wasn't. They probably didn't have that special bond that you did. Because we got 
every single person on the board that has came out. So everybody has made a decision or they're making a decision. So this drama can clear up. Those burdens, they're being they're they're gone because like, you just want happiness. Let's get four cards for my love cards. That's a lot. I mean, all my cards have been coming out. It's too many. And yeah, whatever something came to light, y'all. What nobody's safe, y'all. Nobody's safe around these parts. Cause the universe, they're here. They're making things right. Look, let me tell y'all. When I first started, right, I said, I had said, everybody going to be exposed. I said, people who do human trafficking, people who um, who don't do right and be wearing a false mask in front of other people. I said all this, y'all. And guess what's happening? People thought I was crazy. But it's happening in ways that people, and yes, wrap your head around it because it's happening, y'all. Nobody's nobody's safe it's about around this time and nobody's safe around you because first of all I, I, as the high priestess came up so many times you're very intuitive or psychic however you view yourself so because you see through people and because i feel like you're honest or you're being honest with yourself and other people you won't even want to match that energy so everybody else you're seeing through who is lying Who's being honest? Who got integrity? You know, all those things. Who brings burdens to your life? Who brings happiness? And that's what you're accepting. And that's that's the only thing you will accept is truth and clarity. And you being honest and blunt. And again, you will block them if you need to. Okay? There's no more being hurt. There's no more, like, nah, there's... I just feel like you, you just want, you want to be solid. Let's get four cards. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um he's a lot of a lot of people are fighting the universe, correcting the wrong in them and their life. So yeah. The scales are balancing out. The fakes are being exposed, the liars, the cheaters, everybody's being exposed. And if you've kept yourself solid, even if you were hurt throughout the process, you're going to be on top. So every, like, basically the underdogs. Everybody's, everybody, I guess you could say all the angels in this world, they're about to rise up, take over. All right. I, I believe this is a time when we're coming into, we're coming into a lot of peace and a lot of truth and a lot of change everything is changing right because all these people that have done wrong higher power or in your life it doesn't matter everybody's getting exposed and the best thing that you can do right now is admit your wrongs right your wrongs that you feel like you truly need to address and move forward like free yourself because trust me Nine times out of ten, those thoughts usually trigger you. You grow with the you you grow with those pains. Like the best thing you could do right now, which I'm gonna do too, and I've been starting, is to make amends with people, right your wrongs, make them. I've already made amends with myself, and I'm still doing that every day. But do that. Be honest. If you feel like you need to speak up, do it. If you feel like you need to cut somebody off, do it. Let people deal with what they gotta deal with. You move forward, you be happy. Justice is serving everybody. So everything is coming to light. So the best thing you can do is just keep doing you. Be your honest, true self. Be your true, authentic self. Keep growing. Because when you do that, you're going to sit there, sit back, be silent, and watch everybody else just fall apart. Not that, not that you know, you probably want that, but that's just what's going to happen. You're just going to sit back and watch. And just let everything unfold, right? Because you're good. You're very aware. Very awake. The high priestess. <laughs> the um, the hierophant. Who else did you have in here? The magician twice. The king of swords. So you're very much in your power. Very spiritual. Very, very spiritual. Very balanced. Very mature and grounded. We have the snake here for the first card. It says, Com competition, enemy clever, 
malicious look over your shoulder the other woman so that could have been the cause of it again it could have been um third party yes of course you can yes of course message me or check out divinevibe.org look y'all we got the snake um again there could have been third party three of cups and the three of swords a lot of threes plus the five so there could have been other people uh, well not could have I'm positive there was other people it could again it don't matter family friends love other partners does not matter but I feel like you're very aware and you're seeing through it you're seeing through all the snakes and you're you're let you're ignoring them you're you're walking you're you're letting them go first of all you're blocking them you're not letting them get to you. I thought one flips. Okay, no. Sorry, sometimes they be flipping and I don't be seeing them till later. Too many. Sorry, y'all. It's too many. Oh my god. God, never in my life. This is a mess like all my cards. Let's get one for the... Alright, I'll read them. We got seduction. Because that's how that theory goes. So I gotta take it. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference, acts, Break up, <laughs> separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Girl with the snake. The one you need to look over your shoulder for. So yeah, I got a snake around y'all. Um, be very aware. You know who it is? Cut them off. Somebody got a snake around them. I don't ever really say that. Because I don't really like to say that about people. But... You got the snake and the girl with the snake. It says, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Somebody, if somebody's very smart, this is the same person. Some of you guys may be trying to actually let go of this person if you know who they are. Maybe they're very charming, very loving, very seducing. <laughs> Physically, for some of y'all. Um... <clears throat> This person could be very, very smart, intelligent. They know what they want. They know how to get what they want. And they won't stop. And they will be a snake if they need to, to, to get what they want. Some people, oh, some of y'all could also have an opportunist, opportunist, opportunist <laughs> around you. Look at this person. They're smart, and you. There's somebody that you wouldn't you wouldn't think. Also, like, you know how lists can be deceiving. Um, everything that glitters is not gold, right? Look at that same person, and then abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So letting go of that, breaking yourself free from that, and then manifesting. But like, what? Let's get one. I'll read them all. Healing heart. Oh my God. So much. Okay, healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. You're healing yourself by yourself the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth you have the sun card so transforming so you guys have a butterfly you like butterflies let's okay not today okay you're not dealing with the past again so you guys you're buried in your work because you're you're done with this not not or just not right now not dealing her avoiding a conversation call person boundaries still angry some of you guys could still be upset sunglasses 
watching, looking, stalking that devil energy. Somebody could be watching you on social media. You're just watch, trying to watch your every move, check up on you, use other people to check up on you. <laughs> Gaslighting, perception, focusing out, talking. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hovering. So somebody could probably reach out to you when I talk to you. That could probably have been dealing with a narcissist. I don't like those type of people. You know, they like to come to me, though, so I can um, hurt them. And I say that in the most humble way. Because you're not going to keep, you're not going to run game. That's all I got to say. Like, don't try that with me because you're not going to win. Like, I'm spiritually protected. So, even if you think you're getting away, like, don't even try it. So, I resonate. I, I actually feel the King of Swords, you know? Yeah, don't try that. You might as well just come correct. Plus, I, like, plus, if you're really intuitive and you, you really trust yourself. Um, I mean, personally, I do tarot cards, right? I'm very intuitive. So to try to lie or try to bring a lot of drama is just like the worst thing you could do. To me, I feel like, towards me. For one, I be knowing, not even having to read cards, because I don't ever, for one, let me tell y'all, because I don't, if I had a partner, I would not sit, go ask permission, you know, do it, you know, in front of you or with you, not just like, go behind your back and just, that's just, like, I'm not into all that weird shit. And separation, okay? So, yeah, some of you guys walked away from this situation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure future. So, some of you guys, if you walked away, this person could be missing you. If you blocked them, um, they could be wanting to come back, okay? Excuse me, miss. I'll be back. One second. Okay, sorry y'all. Y'all stay, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry y'all. Yeah, people do make um, fake pages. Like you. You seen the show You? I feel like people really go that far. Um, Make fake pages, fake names, watching your every move. It's kind of like, oh, and like catfish, right? <laughs> That's the, I, I don't know. I don't know how people actually do this. Like, I don't know. I don't know what makes people do that. I really don't. Um, sorry, you guys have to get up. So those people, they just need, they just need a heal. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Let's get one card for the time frame. Oh, okay, I like this. Number four. Four days, four weeks, four months. So you guys could be on somebody within that time frame or four years. But moving forward, you're releasing everything. Also, you wanna rest and heal. So you guys you need to go out into nature. <laughs> you need to go relax, you need to sleep. You need because you have decisions to make and this is a lot whatever the situation is and so you need to make sure that you your energy is good yeah and especially and if you're working a lot too make sure you take some time out okay, yeah what do we have here yeah somebody lost you probably because like emotional loss and moving on Now they heartbroken. But that that's not your fault. 
Y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> that is so true. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I truly believe that, like, what's so hard, okay, is that it's like it will kill. So it's like it will kill them to just be themselves or just say what's on their mind. That's very true. <laughs> People rather rather lie, wear a mask, go behind the back, just um, try to blame the other person or just not take responsibility and just do all these things instead of just being honest and being truthful and just being themselves. Like, I don't get it. Like, and that's people do it to themselves and it's just, I just don't get it. <laughs> people are afraid to speak their truth and... But that is hard, and sometimes it's hard for me, but we are learning to, and it doesn't matter towards any situation, doesn't matter who it is, you know, it's about being honest, and not because it's, of course, the right thing to do, but in the sense, you feel better, like, you guys, so I, yeah, I lied, of course, yeah, I lied, I used to lie, not that I loved it, but I used, not really, though. Um, maybe if I got ate some of your food, I'd probably lie about that. Okay, but no, I just know, like, and I would lie to myself, most importantly. Okay, either way. But then, when I became spiritual, I learned how to be honest in every situation. Like, so, for example, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I never forget, so I was testing myself. And I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I was texting my mom, okay? <laughs> she loves me. So everything will be okay. So I was texting my mom. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, because I have, when I was going through that, <laughs> when I was going through that, like, I was literally, like, I was literally, like, going through everything. Like, I was cutting everybody off. Like, I didn't trust nobody. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this whole world. <laughs> And even though, like, and my my parents, my family, like, my sister and stuff, they just, they, they will always text me no matter what. Either way, like, I was texting my mom, and then, <laughs> usually I will, I will make up an excuse. I will be like, um, <laughs> like, she'll text me, and it'll take me hours or days, you guys. It would even take me days, I admit. Um, because I was just so down, I was just so confused, and I was trying to find myself, so... Like, that's why I said nobody should ever take it personal because it's not that it's really because I was going through something. It wasn't because of it wasn't because of them. Right? It really was because of me. And so I would even like, you know, not talk to my mom and I was not talking to her. Or whatever. Oh, God. But um, at the end of the day, I would lie. You know, I would be like, <laughs> I would be like. Oh, my phone broke, or my phone died, <laughs> or no one dang while well, I saw the message, and just or just making up excuses, just being like, Oh, I couldn't do anything, or I was too busy. Because, to be honest, guys, you're just never too busy. I mean, yeah, but you can to certain people, I feel like you can really say something, right? That's how people feel. But it depends on the situation, circumstances, in person. Either way, I would lie. And then I just started, I was like, and I was like, I gotta, that's, even if it's a lie like that, right? Even if it's a lie like that, saying like, okay, well, and I, and I, and I always wonder, my mom should never say like, <laughs> she'd never be like, um, you're lying or anything like that. She'd never be like, <laughs> she never say anything. She's like, okay. And she's like, how you doing? And stuff like that. You know, just like, she'll start the conversation. <laughs> she'll check up on me, though, are you good? And of course, if I really don't respond, she'll be like, okay, what's happening? And then I'll really say, but either way, like, I start being honest. Like, I'll be like, hey, like, like I just didn't want to talk. Like, I, I saw your message, but I didn't want to talk. I just wasn't feeling it. Bam, that's it. Or even if she texts me, within that moment i'll respond back quicker and i'm like hey um i'm doing good i hope you're doing good but i can't talk right i can't talk because i'm going through something you know and i'll but you get what i'm saying i start being more honest i start being more honest um with myself in the small things you know all the small things and that's where i started 
All right, look, number five, growth. A lot of change, a lot of growth. Five, six, taking steps. Self-love, loving yourself, self-love, self-care, eating right, working out, drinking water or healthy beverages, a new beginning. All right, co-creating with the universe, you guys, because I feel like we can't do this alone. All right, I feel like we definitely need the spirit role of light <laughs> light and love most importantly you guys around this time take the time out to love yourself and to rest and to heal it's very important because there's a lot happening also your money is also coming in and there may be something like your job or whatever you're working on may start to require more of your attention so with that being said you want to make sure you're centered and you're grounded you're make sure you really pay attention to your intuition because your intuition is not steering you wrong. Okay. Let's pull from my light cards, you guys. You guys know that song, Ask of You, by Raphael Sadiq. Or Tony, Tony, Tone. That is my song. Okay, let's get one card for the collective. Angels, ancestors, spirit, guys. What message do we have for the collective? Look, get grounded. Okay, get grounded in nature. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Things are coming together. Woo! Okay, I'm not lying. I'm not making this up. High priestess. High priestess again. Who are you? So you guys could be telling me yourself or just deal with anything that has to do is the spiritual roads where you're just very intuitive how are you being called to step up and lead it's about being an example to others right and again you know your truth you believe it you experience it and if that's true then go ahead and be a leader be a leader in this world be a leader in other people's lives as well show them how show them how you're supposed to do it show them, show them how to live your life and how to rise above and how listening to your intuition and do and listening to yourself and doing the things that you need to gets you to where you want and need to be in life well cuz they may not get to where they want to be but they might see you so lead by example show them how spiritual you are show them the miracles that the universe brings you so you guys you have some really high power high power okay let me not throw <laughs> castle of light divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms okay so things are divinely guided wow oh my god actually makes sense okay <laughs> so the universe look they're all up there um, they're helping you. They're, they're, this is divinely guided. Every, <laughs> your life, your story is divinely guided. They are actually, like, they're, they're sending you light through your intuition. Oh my God. Look at that light going down right into you. Your gut feeling. Oh my God. How can they do that? Look, it's lining up. It's lining up with you. So some of you guys, you have a calling that you can do. Wow, and manifest. That's why you're able to manifest. Some of you guys are really spiritual, and the universe supports you, and you stand out from a crowd. Look at your face. It don't matter. It, I feel like you can wear anything and make it look good. <laughs> look at your face. You stand out from a crowd. You're very unique. You're one of a kind. So, wow. And that's why you're going to get a beautiful outcome. Oh my God. Okay. That's so how you're going to get your wishes, your dreams. That 11-11, again, there's new love coming into you. One that you really enjoy. Whether you want it or not, whether you see it or not. <laughs> whether if your head is in your money or not. <laughs> you got something that's going to really make you happy. Let's get a spirit animal. I like this. See, this is why I love my oracle cards. <gasps> Blue Jay at the bottom. I'm feeling this. You got a unicorn. Oh, <laughs> I have not seen unicorn in so long. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. Purity, wisdom, action. You are being guided to have faith in yourself. The knowledge you possess. Ah! 
Okay, I gotta calm down. <laughs> okay, you are being guided to have faith in yourself, the knowledge you possess, and the magic of the universe. You are where you are supposed to be. Feel your way through each segment of, of your life. You will clearly, clearly see your next move and take action. Big results are the ripple effect of inspired action. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm truly happy for you. Okay, so, oh my God. So some of you guys, you have like a whole transformation, like a whole transformation. You are, um... It's not gonna resonate with everybody. <laughs> be a female, so you guys can actually <laughs> be by, <bi>, okay? <laughs> Either way, I feel like, and I feel like you're expressing yourself for some of you guys. It's not gonna resonate with everybody. Either way, but <laughs> you're standing in your power, you're sitting in your power, you got a beautiful outcome, you're being very smart, you're being very wise around this time, and you're also taking action. Again, you're unique, you're one of a kind, you're a freaking unicorn. You're the one that everybody, they want to see, like, they want to see you shine, they want to see you step out, and you're very rare, okay? Wow. Whew. Some of you guys, again, the universe is saying that they are here with you. They are giving you this magic to manifest exactly, exactly what you want, the magician twice, all right? Make your way through your life. Even if you have to go um, person by person, situation by situation, it does not matter. Move forward, block it, cut it out, and only accept what's actually making you happy. The things that make you feel good, literally. You see, okay, if the, you don't want to play checkers, you want to play chess, okay? 5D chess on top of that. Like, you are not playing games. You are here to move forward. You see clearly your intuition, your third eye, your crown chakra. You're aligning yourself all together you're moving forward and taking action okay and because of that it's oh my god the ripple effect okay all these people right <laughs> some of you guys by changing something in your life it's causing some type of ripple effect of literally releasing all like so all negative energies literally and then getting exactly what you've been wanting if that makes sense as well and then this is and then also seeing their results it's gonna, it's just gonna release it and bring it in. It's just domino effect, okay? Just everything's just changing. Okay, that's very powerful. Read. I've been getting some very powerful people on my readings lately um, who are who are very aware, like very self aware, ha very has a lot of knowledge. <laughs> you know. You see the world for what it is, okay? Matrix style. Let's just say that. <laughs> you know, you're the one. You're the one. Let's go ahead. Let's pull a positive affirmation for the collective. Feel. Somebody's feeling, look, like, abundance. Flexibility. Go on, go on with the flow. All right, I feel my way through the many situations, circumstances, and events that form my life. I feel like you're processing a lot of things. You're moving forward, um, definitely physically. That could be in every way possible. I guess I'll say it. <laughs> so you guys could be moving. Some of you guys could be working out. Some of you guys could be... Um, spiritually uh, processing things that are happening or I don't feel like this this doesn't stop though I like to say past but every day there's something to be honest so I feel like every day whatever happens you're processing it you're making the best decisions you're seeing clearly you're not confused you know what you want Let's say that. Okay, we'll stop there. Because, well, I'm trying to say it, like, it's hard to get out. Ooh, I saw that appointment change. So you guys do have an appointment change. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. All right, so the first card that you got from the angels is quiet retreat. 
That's why you got rest and rejuvenation. Or rejuvenate. <laughs> I was thinking of it. Um, uh, commercial. Okay, look. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. That's just... <laughs> right... Okay, and then attracting, not chasing, because you're manifesting, right? Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way. Because of the fears underlying chasing energy, instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy, right? You know, we be so on point with our readings, don't we? We'd be so on point. <laughs> so again, you're manifesting, you're not chasing anyone, you're cutting it off. I feel like, um... Thing was his name. Um. Oh, well, I remember her name this time. I can't remember his name. <laughs> Anyways, you're in your power. You're not chasing anyone or anything. If they want to go, let them go. You're moving forward. You're letting go of those burdens. And if anybody tries to put any burdens on you, you're not going to allow them to be successful. Well, again, do you, do right, always be your true authentic self, and it will come back into you. And that's how you get the perfect outcome that you're wanting. Oh, too many. Let's get a sleep card for you guys. <laughs> Fine, we'll take it. All right, you guys, let's get this, let's get this card. Let's read it. A head massage. <laughs> so yeah, y'all need a head massage. I give great head massage, you guys. Um, great foot massage as well. <laughs> Hand massage, body massage. I do it all, believe it or not. <laughs> There's nothing that I really can't do because I really like to try everything, right? <laughs> Lie down and close your eyes. <laughs> Put your fingers on your scalp and start massaging it with circular move <laughs> sorry yeah i gotta i gotta laugh really quick all right I'm, let's see this serious all right lie down and close your eyes put your fingers on your scalp and start massaging it with circular movements continue to massage your temples forehead cheeks and jawline breathe easy while doing this don't hold your breath after massaging your head lie in relaxation and continue to relax your body this is a good exercise if you tend to overthink things or grind your teeth during the night. I give my body what it needs. Okay, so you guys may um, overthink at night, stress, and because of those burdens or options, but everything will become clear. So you guys, you may have options. It will become clear, okay? You will know exactly what you want, what you need, what you're going to do, what actions, um, what steps to take, all right? And you're actually making steps. You already have been and you will continue. So, um, yeah, some of y'all, y'all grind y'all teeth at night. Y'all can go buy one of those things, too. Um, but that could be due to, um, due to all this stress. So, go ahead and massage yourself or go get a massage, you guys. <sighs> yeah, go find somebody that to do your massage. And let them help you if you feel like you can't do it yourself, okay? Or do it yourself. Either way, you give your body what it needs and you you rest, you heal. <sighs> okay, you guys, that does conclude my reading. Now, those that have stayed though silent, thank you. I really love y'all. I appreciate y'all, okay? Like, I'll send an energy to you. And I pray this works out for you, okay? And also... Um, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will post three more signs tonight. And then tomorrow, I'll post all the signs and group them by, by, by elements. Fire, earth, water, air. Then over the weekend, I'll do a you versus them. You know, we'll, either way, it'll be for everybody. So help me reach my goals, you guys. If you're resonated, subscribe. Even if it didn't, still subscribe. Um, <laughs> add Divine Vibe. And hit the notification bell, like, share, comment, and go follow me on Instagram, Divine Vibe as well, because I do my lives there and I'm heading there next. 
and then stay posted for your sign okay <laughs> thank you guys and i'll see you guys later <laughs> bye you guys